Hello Collective. What's up? What's up? Um, I hope y'all doing wonderful. Welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. <laughs> if this is your first time viewing my channel, I welcome you and I hope I can give you something to where you'll subscribe. I'm going to give a prize away at 500, so um, I'm almost there. I need I need a little more help from you guys so I can give away prizes, and I'm going to give away prizes a lot, but i got to get over a 1,000, you know it? So when I get to 500, I'm giving a deck away, and a 1,000, I'll give something good away. And my little support, I love you, and I hope I can give you something swell and special today that might help some of you a little bit out here. Only take a message that helps you and lead away for somebody else, okay? And I love you, and let's get into it. Um, a death in the family has left someone feeling guilt, and the divine wants you to heal and remember that you couldn't save that person, okay? So somebody's feeling guilty, and it's this person that wants control over your life. Like, they don't want you to have friends or anything. They don't want you to have nothing. And this person uh, uh, might be somebody that you uh, used to like toss a football around with or something or y'all watch football together i don't know that part that'll just that depends on whoever's watching i guess but it says uh somebody out here is getting ready to receive money from a practice or job that you do very well and they see you as a pro at what you do Ooh. you get ready to get some money and uh, you signed a contract from a long time ago you're brought here at this time to remember what and why you incarnated this lifetime uh, and what you all had to fulfill your contract. So uh, you're you're gonna receive money at your job because you're talking about twin flames. That's what it is, and about contracts that y'all signed. And it says, have you ever been drawn magnetically to another person? Well, no. This is your divine masculine or divine feminine twin brought to you from the divine. No, that's what it is, loves. Okay. And it says, uh. Remember what, uh, way back when you saw that special person who'd make you grin? All it took was just one look to make your heart feel like it was took. Ooh, and it felt like puppy love. Two, two, two. Ooh, you're all coming together. Y'all gonna come together like two little puppies in love. And, and uh, Divine Masculine, you need to just let your emotions out, even if it's only to yourself, okay? Divine Masculine, that's what y'all need to do. Sometimes you just need a good cry. And uh, whoever this person is, this divine masculine, uh, they're thinking of making a bold and fast move to come to you, but they're trying to plan it out well so they don't fail with you. They're taking steps to move towards you. <laughs> and uh, here's an idea. Make sure to date somebody whose actions don't make you check the tarot every week. <laughs> yeah, make sure to, to uh, date somebody... Because they keep doing dumb shit over and over and you don't know what they're going to do. That's why you have to look at tarot. Why, I, don't, I wouldn't want somebody like that, okay? Here's an idea. Uh, don't date that person. And uh, this person, they can't alchemize like you do. They're watching and trying to figure out how to make their dreams a reality. This is by me, Pam. Nobody can steal what I write on my table or speak of it uh and your partner is uh stealing money from you and maybe giving it to someone who does magic on you but they don't know how outstanding of a divine feminine divine masculine that you are because i just told this partner of yours that you might have been uh in a relationship for a long time um they paid a, ta a person in tarot and, and and it's a coven of witches and they deal in spells and they put lustful energy on you, somebody that wouldn't uh, usually operate in succubus and incubus energy, and and they paid that uh, that partner paid them paid this tarot reader. It's a fucking witch, and uh, this tarot reader she she thinks that you hate men, but uh, it's not that you don't hate men. It's that you hate one man in particular, and their thumbs down in your videos. And uh, this person. Uh, uh, might be a nurse, but there's a nurse uh, stealing her patient's pills from them simply for her person's addictions. Oh, so they some nurse that uh, might have paid uh, a tarot reader to put some lustful and succubus energy on her partner because she was tired of getting pills off of her patients and giving them her the pills to that person that he's just here at that's what spirit said 
And uh, whoever these people is, they love football. Her and him and whoever did these spells, this nurse. And uh, uh, because they didn't want you and your Divine Masculine together. Because they had a shitty relationship. They didn't think that you and Divine Masculine should be together. Because she might have been in love with your Divine Masculine. And uh, they can't believe the changes that you went through. But they still feel like you personally did something to them. This stupid fucking woman, whoever she is, she thinks you did something to her, and you didn't, and she don't know how to alchemize, but she keeps watching your fucking channel trying to figure out how whoever this bitch is, and, and we're over here trying to heal our brains from all the bullshit we had to endure here on this earth plane. We're on our spiritual journey to heal ourselves. This is me and my collective. I love you, collective. Go ahead and hit, hit like today. I love you, and I thank you very much. That's how you help me get it around so people can see it, and I love you. And uh, these people, they cast it confusion and illusion spells on you. They they wanted you to feel out of sorts. They wanted you to not be able to alchemize, but they don't. They're mad because that the they see you can alchemize, and that's why they're uh, they're trying to get people coming thumbs down your videos. But then them people watches it, and they're like, "Damn, it come to light." I love that woman. Oh, I love you, spirit. I love you guys. Hit subscribe. And, uh, because I'll help you better than whoever that witch is. I ain't a witch like that, and I'm not in a coven. But this coven of witches, they, uh, the, they was trying to get a, they, they was telling everybody that you was a prostitute. But they was a prostitute, and somebody slept with this person, and their, this person, uh, had a sex demon on their dick and their soul. And, and, uh, maybe you got a vision of this shit. And you told these people about it. So you was trying to warn them. Better quit fucking on uh, men or women that acts like prostitutes. Because you're going to get AIDS or something. That's what I, that's what kind of like, you know. It kind of like that uh, you was trying to heal. And they, they're, they're mad because you didn't do nothing with them. They're mad they couldn't put this sex demon on you. Huh? You got to poke your head out if you want to get the lead out. It comes to light that you're causing a clear line with your life purpose. And it's a wonderful thing, honey. And and when spirits gives you a lot of feathers, know that the message is you're getting ready to receive a lot of abundance from the divine. Uh, and you're a light worker and you're getting ready to travel. When, oh, and I look at all my messages. I love you, spirit. That's for me. Oh, and, and me and you out here, we need to go uh, to the metaphysical store today and buy something special for ourselves. We need to go buy a new something for ourselves and for our table. Okay? And this person that is uh, magnetically drawn to you, they, they cr they're they crying and missing you. They miss your love. All it took was one look, and this person fell in love. You and him both did because y'all had a contract to fulfill. You signed one way long ago. And you're all going to come together in a practice and receive a lot of money. This this, this is my story over here. I'm reading it like this because that was my idea before anybody. Nobody's going to say it was. You're all supposed to do this practice together. Yeah. And um, they're making, uh, this person is going to make a bold and feist move towards you, but they're trying to plan it out well so they don't fail with you. Did you hear that? 822, that's for somebody. Here, uh, Here's an idea. Uh, don't, don't go paying tarot people to uh, do magic on a divine being, you stupid witches, because your magic is shitty. Your magic is shitty, and people's going to start thumbs down in your all's videos because they know that you're stealing from other people's practices. Ah, did you hear that? Because it's true. The way I said it. Yeah, I know they do. And they're not going to be able to alchemize like you do. They don't know what's in, they they know you got a a rare magical birth chart like me and the motherfuckers they they they're never going to be able to stop what I do I'm telling you right now they they think I did something to them whoever this tarot reader is and whoever this fucking man is that feels guilty because somebody died around them they just want to control they just want to control all your relationships it don't matter what it is they don't want you to have any relationship and you're trying to heal from this bullshit and move on. Move on. It, it move on from this illusion. Move on from this illusion. It come to light. It come to light. Somebody's poking their head out and fucking a prostitute. It come to light. Nine two nine. It come to light. And it come to light that me, I'm cosmic aligned with my life purpose, and it's a wonderful thing, honey. And you all out here that's aligned with your all's life purpose, and you're doing it daily. And uh, you need to go buy your new gym or something today. And uh. And Spirit said, uh, light worker, I'm getting ready to put your ass on a travel, traveling the world, and you're going to receive a lot of abundance, so don't worry. They can't, they can't get to you. They can't bother you, okay? But they can't. 
Another tiny message. Another tiny message. Hang on a minute. I love this. Do 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 do. I played all my do 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 do. Hang on, you guys. Let me get a few more out, and I'll read it to you. Just don't go no more. Don't get agitated and upset and a tizzy. I'll read it to us now. Shit, you guys. I'll read it to us. I done told you. A doodle de dee, and I love you. Ooh, can't you see? All right, so here's what it said. Hang on. It says, there's a false flame. They live at a red light district around where fucking, all, it, all it's around is banging and humping and banging. You know, they could live like, just where there's a lot of shit going on and drug use, and they're in fear of losing their relationship, whoever this false flame is for whoever's listening to me. And uh, it says, don't place judgment on others' lives. This false flame keeps placing judgments on this two-magician relationship. This female can't compare to your beautiful qualities and my beautiful qualities. Uh, she's pregnant. 1222, whoever she is, she's pregnant. This woman that uses men for money, whoever she is, she's pregnant. It ain't me. Uh, somebody's coming at daylight to see you. You got this. You're not getting away from this person. You can see and read their aura. They're not letting you get away. You're going to be a fucking power couple. When one swan dies, the other goes off and dies also. That's true love. You're going to be fucking famous. Take that risk. Take that risk. Ooh, take that risk with this two magician relationship. You're all going to be a power couple. Oh, God. And people's going to love you. And they're going to admire you and your qualities. And they're going to be like, damn, they can read everybody's auras. And we love that people. And we love them so much. They're just deliciousness power couple. That's what that's what they said now. Okay. Shit. These cards are turned around and flip, but it'll be all right. Spirit, who is this? Oh, Spirit say it. Oh, hey my my Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ooh, you. Oh, wowdy woody. Oh, wow. That's a good and I love you, Spirit. It's so funny and cute. Boo boo a doo Hang on. saying is something that illuminated to you it got illuminated to you that uh someone was trying to get you caught up in a trap uh and that's why the crows come around and warned you and the butterflies said you need to transform we're making you a very creative success it kind of light that they was trying to trap you up in your creative in your creative world yeah they was going to pretend to bring you a little love, Knight of Cups, you know. Uh, but uh, they didn't understand that you're a true alchemist. You know how to alchemize. You're really balanced. That's why Temperance Angel come out. It come to light. It come to light that you're going to be a success and just a joy. And that's that paternal father energy. You got a lot of 
you know how to uh your your balance in your masculine and feminine and you're very creative and that's the truth what i just said that's why the sort of truth come out and that might be why hawks and these eagles come around to let you know to be aware that you are supposed to work with some certain into some some somebody in your community there you're meant to work with this person and and uh the wheel of the year come out this is this is the pure karma you're supposed to uh work with that person are you listening and you're supposed to have a ten of cups family they see you as a uh, a queen of pentacles, you know, someone who's very wealthy in the physical and spiritual. They they want to build with you. Look, three of pentacles. They want to work with you. Ooh, this man wants to work with you. This man or woman. Oh gosh, they can't stop thinking of you. They're in nostalgia, and it could be a king of swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, man. Uh, they're they're in their nightmares over you. This, this man is the uh, they can't they can't get you out of their mind. You are their wishful. Uh, the, they got a lot of options. They can't get out of their mind because they fucked around on you and they're scared that you're going to end up figuring this out. Ate a ate a sword. You're going to figure this out and they wanted to keep you tied and bound in regret. But. Uh, this was a karmic. That's why King of Wands come out. That was a karmic, okay? That was a karmic trying to fuck with you. And uh, they wanted to keep you depressed. They just wanted to keep you depressed. Four cups, but you're getting ready to receive a giant love. Uh, and it could be with this soulmate connection. It's coming to you, baby, because they love you. So you got giant love, truth, and creativeness in this relationship. And uh, it's your all time, baby. Because the karmic wheel said at 17, 17, 88, abundance is coming and flowing into your life. It got to illuminate it. They want to marry you. They want you to be their their queen of pinnacles. So this is a Taurus. 17, 27, it's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, man. They're totally in love with you. And, you, and they want to marry you if you're not married to that person. They're bringing you love, and they're going to balance out this relationship. They're bringing you love and money, and they want to even have a baby with you. They can't stop thinking about it. They know you're supposed to work together and celebrate together. Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups, they know you're supposed to. And Divine Masculine said to you, Divine Feminine, get out of your fucking head over this one person that's a dictator over your life. They are uh, fucking around on you. You're not their only love option. They're fucking around on you. It comes to light. Oh, I love that. Did you like that? Well, I hope you guys did. I'm going to get off here. I love you guys, and I hope this helps somebody today. And I appreciate you. And let's see what this says. Oh, it says, tune in and connect. Nonverbal communication, intuition, messages. Pay attention to the messages. That's what Spirit just said. Pay attention to what I just said in this message. Somebody really needs to focus on it. Uh, maybe I do too. We need to just pay attention out of all. All of us need to pay attention and and listen to what our ancestors is trying to tell us, cause they they know that you're meant for something bigger. Look at that man's face staring there now. They're letting you know now you're meant to do something bigger. Yes, yes, yes. They said you need to find your voice and express yourself. Open up and sing out loud to that person. <laughs> Don't let them get away. Don't let them get away. That's what it's saying. Don't. You better be listening to me now. Oh, gosh. Because the little star divine, my inner child, is whole and complete. They said you're ready to do this now. Your inner child is whole and complete. 1919. Get off your ass and go do it today. You might supposed to have a divine little star child together. You are. You're supposed to because Spirit just said it. Spirit just said it. And Spirit said, Solonio, the enchanter dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. So you wished on this. You wished on a star. Somebody wished on a star to be with this divine mask and have a baby. And it's coming true. And it's coming true. And I love you. And I love you all through and through. Peace. Hit subscribe, please. I need the help. And I love you guys. So I can give a prize away at 500. Peace.